improve myself. Uh, it's uh, it's all my uh, uh, skills package, you know, speed, move, speed, movement, mentality, uh, and uh, conditioning, uh, all of it, of course. There's something uniquely interesting about a fighter staring down the barrel of their biggest test, their most dangerous opponent, especially when both warriors are undefeated champions. Dmitry Bivol versus Artur Beterbiev isn't just a fight. It's a battle for supremacy, an unstoppable force versus an immovable object. Do you have a message for Dmitry Bivol now that he's here? He know already. <laughs> Dmitry, uh, yeah. Artur Beterbiev says that you know already. What is it that you know? I don't know already. <laughs> And with just days left till it happens, Dmitry Bivol, the cool, calculated WBA champion, has dropped a warning to his opponent. His words, brutal, cold, and delivered with a deadly calm, say goodbye to your family. Look at that. Sensational. Arto Baturbia versus Dmitry Bivol for all the belts at 175 pounds. Wow. Bivol's message is a heated jab to Baturbiev to let him know that he isn't coming to dance around the ring. He's coming to end the reign of a man many believe to be the most terrifying puncher in boxing today. As Bivol himself said, I respect Beterbiev, but in the ring there will be no respect, only destruction. This is a fight that's been years in the making. Both men hold pieces of the light heavyweight puzzle, Beterbiev with his IBF, WBC, and WBO titles, and Bivol with his WBA strap. For years, Fans have salivated over the thought of these two juggernauts finally squaring off to decide the undisputed king of the division. No, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, undisputed. undisputed. <laughs> but now, with fight week upon us, the tension has risen to fever pitch. Bevel's calm demeanor has always been part of his charm, his quiet confidence radiating through each of his career-defining performances, whether it was against Canelo Alvarez or Gilberto Ramirez. But this new side of him? The warning, the edge, it's clear that something has shifted in the Russian technician, and Baderbiev may have awakened a more dangerous version of his opponent than anyone expected. Let's not forget what makes this fight so captivating. Two very different and lethal styles meeting head-on. Bevel is a tactician. A boxer who glides around the ring, picking apart his foes with precision and timing. His footwork and ability to move in and out of range have allowed him to shut down some of the sport's best fighters, most notably Canelo Alvarez, who found himself befuddled by Bivol's boxing IQ in their 2022 encounter. Has dynamite in his hands in Baturbiev and another guy that's got that Eastern European in and out boxing style that that um, you know that was able to defeat Canelo, you know. So, you, I I highly rate Bivol's boxing ability, and I also highly rate Baturbiev's ability. While Bivol is an artist in the ring, Baturbiev is a force of nature. With 20 fights and 20 knockouts, his record speaks for itself. Baturbiev isn't just knocking out opponents; he's breaking them. His power is legendary, and his relentless pressure wears his opponents down until there's nothing left but surrender. Callum Johnson, one of Beterbiev's victims, once described being hit by him as like being in a car crash. He hits you anywhere and you feel it in your bones, Johnson said. It's no wonder many are wondering if Bivol, for all his skill and movement, will be able to survive 12 rounds against such a wrecking machine. Four, five, four, three, two, one, good, yeah, baby! <laughs> Yo! To the front. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time! <laughs> as smooth and composed as Bivol is, he's never faced someone quite like Berbiev. Sure, Canelo is a legend, but he was a natural middleweight stepping up to face a bigger man in Bivol. And Gilberto Ramirez? Well, he was just too slow, too predictable. But Berbiev? This is a man who fights like a tank with a brain. His punches come with precision, and when they land, they destroy. It's not just his brute force that makes him dangerous. It's his ring intelligence, his ability to cut off the ring and trap his opponents like prey. There's a growing belief that Bivol, for all his technical expertise, may find himself overwhelmed by Beterbiev's relentless pressure. He doesn't have the legs that Dmitry Bivol has. He doesn't have the, the, the cardio that Dmitry Bivol has. 
you got to give it to Dimitri Bobal. He's not an easy person to hit. You know, if he, if he gets hit, that's because he's made a commitment to be stationary and to do something to you in the process. As opposed to if he's trying to be elusive, he's going. His in and out movement, which works so well against slower opponents, might be his undoing. The more Bivol moves, the more openings he leaves. And Biterbiev, with his predator-like instincts, is just the man to capitalize on those moments of vulnerability. But Bivol doesn't see it that way. His warning to Biterbiev, as chilling as it is, is also a reflection of his confidence. He believes he's the one who can stop the monster. I respect him outside the ring, but in the ring, I'm going to finish him. Bivol emphasized. People think I'm just a boxer who runs, but I'm going to show them I can break a man too. In many ways, this fight is shaping up to be a test of survival. Bivol's slick boxing against Bederbiev's crushing power. Can Bivol dance his way through 12 rounds, avoiding the inevitable onslaught of punches that will come his way? Or will Biterbiev do what he always does, hunt down his opponent, pin them against the ropes, and finish them with a flurry of punches so devastating it leaves no room for a comeback? <laughs> However, there's the age factor. Biterbiev, at 39, isn't getting any younger. While his record shows no signs of slowing down, there are talks that his recent knee surgery could affect him. Bernard Hopkins raised this very question in a recent interview. Will his age affect him? At some point it will. Will the knee surgery affect him? You bet it could, Hopkins said. He's got a mover in Bivol. If that knee gives out or slows him down, Bivol could take advantage. No. 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 Not 50-50. One, better be at 38 years old. Better be has been down. Yes, yes, yes. Bivol has never been down. Bivol been in there with who at the time was pound pound the best, which was Canelo Alvarez. Made him look like nothing. So I'm not saying it's 50 50. Bit of Beef got everything to show me to bring it back on the 50 50. Right now, Beef has, has the advantage 60 40. Now, Bit of Beef is a hell of a guy and a hell of a fighter and has an awesome power. But he also has been down. So it's like when I look at that, I was looking at stuff from um, where I used to see things there for. And with the way I saw it, if somebody else knocked you down, I got to get you down. You understand me? Now, that's a hell of a push to walk through to get him down, though. So it's a very dangerous game that people all got to play because Bill Bill is the best puncher probably ever in that division. Yeah. You understand me? So it's a great fight. If, you, if it's 50-50, if it's, it's because of his puncher power. Maybe he may land and maybe he may... That's the other layer to this fight, the unknown. Beterbiev has looked invincible, but as Hopkins hinted, age and injury might be the cracks in his armor. Bevel's team is surely aware of this. And we might see him target Beterbiev's knee in the clinches, using every ounce of his strategy to wear down the older man. Still, even with these potential advantages, there are doubts swirling around Bivol. His win over Canelo was spectacular, but some critics argue it was a victory over a smaller man. Gilberto Ramirez, too, didn't have the speed or skills to truly test him. Now, with Beterbiev in front of him, we may find out if Bivol has been a bit overrated all along. One of the biggest concerns for Bivol is his tendency to leave openings when throwing combinations. Against someone like Baderbiev, who thrives on counters, this could be disastrous. Bivol's team has likely been drilling him on keeping his guard up and avoiding risky exchanges, but the fact remains, if Baderbiev lands clean, it could be lights out. It's rare to see Bivol speak so aggressively ahead of a fight. Usually he's reserved, methodical in both his approach to the media and his style in the ring. But this time, it feels different. He's talking like a man who knows he has to do more than just win. He has to make a statement. As Bivol himself said, I don't need to prove anything to anyone, but I want this. I want to show everyone that I'm the best in the world. It's clear that Bivol sees this fight as his defining moment the fight that will cement his legacy as the undisputed light heavyweight champion. But in the opposite corner stands Baderbiev, a man who doesn't care about legacies or proving anything to anyone. He's a fighter who believes in one thing, destruction. And so, as these two titans prepare to meet in the ring, 
One thing is certain, someone is walking out with all the belts and someone may not walk out at all. But then Bedrbiev has been confident that he is the man who walks out with the belts. I think he's gonna stop uh Bivol, man. Mm. I think he's gonna stop me. That's no 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 uh slack on Bivol because Bivol he he has excellent mechanics, man. He got excellent, you know, distance and range and punching power. But let me tell you something, man, and, and, and you know, some of y'all here can attest to this. It's one thing you can't measure when it comes to you know uh uh mortal combat man and that's that's the will man i believe i believe better be will is stronger than his to him this isn't just about defending his belts it's about cementing his legacy as one of the most dangerous men in the sport he knows exactly what's on the line and while the world may be hyping this as a clash between power and precision for better Biev, it's much simpler in his mind it's just another night another opponent to break having demolished every opponent he has faced Better BF is not only driven by a desire to defend his belts, but to make a statement. He isn't just focused on winning, he wants to leave no doubt in anyone's mind about who the true king of the light heavyweight division is. Are you going to win a points decision over a man that can go at a flat out pace for 12 rounds? I don't think so. So I think your, your option is to knock him back out, get out there, flat out, out, the, out them doors, boom, swinging like mad and get him sparked because he's a big puncher. Is it a game plan that will take a lot of courage because he is, pound for pound, the biggest puncher in boxing? Who is? Better Biev. Is he bollocks? I am. For Better Biev, this fight represents a clash of styles that he seems perfectly prepared for. Despite the talk around Bevel's technical skills, movement and ability to control distance, Better Biev knows that when it comes down to it, power will prevail. His approach to the fight is simple, almost methodical. He doesn't chase knockouts, they come to him. I'm always focused on doing good things, Betterbiev calmly stated when asked about his game plan. There's no need for bravado because for Betterbiev, actions speak louder than words. And his actions? They've left a trail of destruction in their wake. Yes, speed kills, but power destroys. No. So my breakdown is I got Bivol outboxing Betterbiev for about six rounds, three rounds, six, three to six rounds. But eventually, Betterbiev going to close the gap. And when he closes the gap, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> He acknowledges Bivol as a formidable opponent, especially given the WBA champion's victory over Canelo Alvarez, which shocked the boxing world. But while others marvel at Bivol's ability to neutralize Canelo's offense, Baterbiev remains unmoved. He's not interested in what Bivol has done in the past. He's focused on what will happen in the ring when they meet. One of the key elements of Baterbiev's confidence is his belief that his power will eventually break through any defense. Bivol may have the movement and the technical skills, but Better BF knows that at some point, the fight will come down to who can impose their will. And when that moment comes, Better BF is certain that he will be the one standing tall. His pressure is relentless, his punches heavy and accurate, and his ability to break opponents down, both physically and mentally, has been the hallmark of his career. In the lead up to the fight, Better BF has kept his usual calm demeanor, refusing to be drawn into any trash talk or mind games. There's no need for psychological warfare. His fists will do the talking. Many in the boxing world are excited to see how Bivol's style will fare against Better BF's raw power. Will Bivol's quick footwork and sharp counters be enough to keep him safe, or will Better BF's pressure eventually wear him down like it has so many before him? Promoter Eddie Hearn, who has a vested interest in both fighters, knows this is a generational clash, two of the best in the division, both undefeated, fighting for everything. This is what boxing is about, Hearn says, thrilled by the prospect of what's to come. It's not just about the belts, it's about legacy. The winner of this fight will be remembered for a long time. Two generational greats, the best two light heavyweights in the world fighting for every single belt. I hope that casual fans around the world can hear and listen and understand the importance of this fight because this is a fight that for me can only be an all-time. Baterbiev, however, is not caught up in the talk of legacy. For him, it's about doing what he always does, winning and winning by breaking his opponent's will. While Bivol might bring a more complex strategy to the table, Baterbiev remains confident that once they start exchanging blows, it will be his power that makes the difference. I never try to knock someone out, he says almost casually, but the implication is clear. 
Once Bivol feels the force of Betterbiev's punches, the fight could shift dramatically. One factor that has sparked curiosity is how Betterbiev's recent knee surgery might affect his performance. Coming off surgery is always a question mark for any fighter, especially one who relies on constant forward pressure like Betterbiev. Will he be able to keep up his usual pace? Will Bival's movement test the durability of that knee? Betterbiev, however, has dismissed any concerns, declaring that he is 100% fit and ready to go. I've done everything I need to, he reassures fans and analysts alike, brushing off any doubts about his, there's no doubt that this is a fight that could determine the undisputed king of the light heavyweight division. But there's another question that has many fans excited. Could better BF take on Mexican superstar Canelo Alvarez next? I get, I get, I had two fights, unification fights. Unification fights is more uh, interesting, you know, it's more motivated. I prefer uh, uh, unify. You want to be undisputed? Yeah, I want to be undisputed. Recently, Canelo admitted in an interview that Better BF would be his toughest challenge if he decides to return to the light heavyweight division. This is a huge statement coming from a fighter who has been a world champion across multiple weight classes and faced some of the biggest names in the sport. Canelo, who once claimed the WBO light heavyweight title by knocking out Sergei Kovalev in 2019, seems interested in returning to 175 pounds, but he knows that Better BF is no easy task. For Better BF, the idea of fighting Canelo is definitely something he's open to, but the Russian is not getting ahead of himself. He understands that his immediate focus is on Bivol, and October 12th will be a huge determining factor in what his future looks like. Better Biev and Benavidez, who do you think is the biggest challenge for you? Oh, Better Biev. Better Biev? Yeah, Why is that? Of course. Because he's a champion. He has something to offer me. He's a strong. He's in another way. He's a lot of things. Mm -hmm. A lot of things. Of course, I'd be open to it. Better Biev said when asked about the potential clash with Canelo. But first, I have to get through October 12th. Then we will see how it goes. Biterbiev's calm, calculated approach to the idea of facing Canelo is consistent with his no-nonsense style inside the ring. Still, despite his dominance, Biterbiev knows that Bivol presents a unique challenge. The WBA light heavyweight champion is known for his incredible defense, footwork, and ability to control the pace of a fight. Bivol is the man who handed Canelo Alvarez his first loss since 2013 when they fought in 2022. And Bivol did so in dominant fashion. For better Biev, defeating Bivol would not only unify the light heavyweight division, but also make him the clear top dog in the weight class, positioning him perfectly for a mega fight with Canelo. So you do that 30 minutes? Yes. No, no break? No break. After one minute break? <laughs> Canelo Alvarez, despite being a natural middleweight, has proven that he can compete and win at light heavyweight. His knockout victory over Sergei Kovalev was a stunning display of his power and precision. However, his loss to Bival in their 2022 showdown was a stark reminder that fighting at 175 pounds is a whole different ballgame. Bivol's size, technical skills, and ability to avoid Canelo's power shots made the difference in that fight. And now Canelo seems to be eyeing a return to the division with a renewed sense of determination. When asked about the challenge that Beterbiev poses, Canelo didn't hesitate to admit that the Russian would be his toughest test. Beterbiev is definitely the hot of fight, Canelo said. He's very strong, and you can see that he knows how to use his power. I would need to be at my best to beat him. Win against Bivol, become undisputed. Would you move up to cruiserweight, or would you just stay at 75 and just? It's interesting. Mm -hmm. I need to think about. <laughs> what are you <laughs> what are, What are you leaning towards? Cruiserweight, not cruiserweight, leaning? First cruiserweight, then after heavyweight. Oh, okay. well, that's high praise from a fighter like Canelo, who has made a career out of overcoming challenges. For better Biev, however, these kinds of statements are just part of the game. He doesn't let outside noise distract him from his ultimate goal, which right now is defeating Bivol. Canelo is a great champion, but for me, I'm focused on Bivol right now, Baterbiev said. After that, we'll see what happens. The idea of a Baterbiev canelo showdown would undoubtedly be one of the biggest fights in boxing. Canelo's star power, 
combined with Baturbiev's reputation as the most dangerous man at light heavyweight, would make for a compelling clash of styles. Baturbiev's relentless pressure and punching power would be a huge test for Canelo, who would need to rely on his defensive skills, counterpunching, and ability to fight off the back foot. But before any of that can happen, Baturbiev knows he must first get past Bivol, which is no small task. Many experts believe that Bivol's style could be the perfect foil for Baturbiev's aggression. If Baturbiev does manage to defeat Bivol, the victory would be monumental. Not only would he become the undisputed light heavyweight champion, but it would also set the stage for a potential super fight with Canelo. For his part, Canelo seems eager for the opportunity, but he knows that a fight with Baturbiev would be vastly different from any challenge he's faced before. I like challenges, Canelo said. That's why I'm interested in Baturbiev. He's strong, but I believe in myself. While Baturbiev has expressed interest in moving up to cruiserweight after the Bivol fight, the lure of a blockbuster showdown with Canelo could be too tempting to pass up. A win over Canelo would further cement Baturbiev's legacy as one of the greatest light heavyweights of all time, and it would likely be one of the biggest paydays of his career. For now, though, Baturbiev is focused on the task at hand. Right now, my mind is on Bivol, Baturbiev reiterated. We'll talk about what comes next after. The outcome of Better BF versus Bival will not only decide who is the undisputed champion at light heavyweight, but also determine whether Better BF or Bival could be the next opponent for Canelo Alvarez. For Canelo, the desire to return to the division where he tasted both victory and defeat is strong, but he knows that before he can challenge Baturbiev, the Russian must first take care of business. <laughs> if Baturbiev does emerge victorious, a fight with Canelo would be an explosive matchup, pitting two of boxing's most dangerous fighters against each other. But for now, the focus remains on Bivol. Artur Beterbiev knows what's at stake on October 12th, and he's ready to prove once again why he's one of the most feared men in boxing. Well, what's your take? Share your thoughts below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. See you in the next one.